Well, today is Sunday, April 18th, 2021, and I want to show you how I'm going to support that curtain rod which fell. I believe these rubber legs are going to give it more grip and make it less likely to fall in the future. I got these at Ace Hardware. They are an inch and a half in diameter. Um, not sure if that's, I would think that's the inside diameter is probably an inch and a half. Um, I know that the outside diameter of the ends of that um, curtain rod are about one and a third inches. So those should have no problem fitting right into these um, because these are a little bit bigger than those. These little rubber feet right here, they turn separate from this and that's important. So I would not want the inside of this to rub against the outside of this. What I want is for this to be able to turn. I want this little rubber foot to be able to turn separate from this plastic. And if this was smaller than an inch and a half, it might grip onto this plastic and turn with it. And that will not work. That will be a point of failure. So. When, when this is in place, you can see that it still turns freely. But when it's up against the wall, it won't turn freely anymore. But in terms of this rubber disc being able to turn, that function is not being compromised by my putting this larger than inside diameter, larger than this outside diameter. When they go together, um, I'm not compromising the ability of that rubber pad to turn. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, let's do this. So I got one rubber foot. Here's the other rubber foot. this into place. Okay, I've twisted the rod tight. That looks good. The curtain can store nicely within that little area. Well, today is Sunday, April 18th, 2021, and I want to show you how I'm going to support that curtain rod which fell. Um, not sure if it's a shower rod or a curtain rod. I'm pretty sure I bought it by the curtains, so I'm thinking it's probably a, a, a curtain rod, which I would expect to be a little bit stronger than a shower rod. But it fell. I bumped into this wall on the other side. I bumped into that wall yesterday while I was working in the, in the room next to this entryway and um, about three minutes later the curtain rod fell. So um, I believe these rubber legs are going to give it more grip and make it less likely to fall in the future. I got these at Ace Hardware. They are an inch and a half in diameter. Um, not sure if that's, I would think that's the inside diameter is probably an inch and a half. Um, I know that the outside diameter of the ends of that um, curtain rod are about one and a third inches. So those should have no problem fitting right into these um, because these are a little bit bigger than those. Um, 
So here's here's what I did. That door over there tends to leak. It, it tends to get drafty. It tends to leak cold air into the entryway. And um, last, well, you all know about the COVID situation where it looked like for a while the country was going to have a hard time transporting foods. Um, so I, I bought that shelf um, because I like citrus. I'll, I'll put a video here that says, you know, about how I, I'm a big fan of citrus on a daily basis. And if, if I couldn't get hold of the citrus, I'd want to keep an extra large supply of citrus instead of buying it on a daily basis, buying it maybe once every two weeks and storing it. So I would want to store it in a cool area. So I bought that little shelf when COVID began um, to hold my citrus fruits. Um, but then when I was walking through Target, I found these curtains, which are thermal barriers. Um, and now that was just a, a month or two ago that I found these curtains that are thermal barriers. And I thought, you know, if I can contain the cold air within this area, um, that might work very well in time in times where uh, food supplies are, are not moving through the country the way that they should be, like in times of civil war, which we just saw. I don't think anyone expected that there'd be an attack on um, Congress the way that we saw um, following the 2020 election. Um, so for, for multiple reasons, what, I'm try what I've done is I've tried to keep that area cooler than uh you know in the winter time when the when the door is going to be drafty anyhow if i can confine cold air to that area then i can have extra citrus sitting in in this area right here on that shelving unit but um if that rod is going to fall that's going to be a, a safety hazard. So I want to make sure that that rod doesn't fall. And I think that this is going to be an excellent solution to make sure that that curtain rod or shower rod um, is going to stay put. So let's have at this. Let's do it. Make sure that I've got a good, I think that's going to show everything. You know what? Let's, I'll be, I'll be working up here mostly. So, okay, let's do this. So I'll go ahead and I'll open up this box, this package. There's one rubber foot. Second rubber foot. Okay. Now before I put this in place, I want to point out that these little rubber feet, these little rubber feet right here, they turn separate from this. And that's important. So I would not want the inside of this to rub against the outside of this. What I want is for this to be able to turn. I want this little rubber foot to be able to turn separate from this plastic. And if this was smaller than an inch and a half, it might grip onto this plastic and turn with it, and that will not work. That will be a point of failure. So when, when this is in place, you can see that it still turns freely, but when it's up against the wall, it won't turn freely anymore. But in terms of this rubber disc being able to turn, that function is not being compromised by my putting this larger than inside diameter larger than this outside diameter. When they go together, um, I'm not compromising the ability of that rubber pad to turn. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, let's do this. So I got one rubber foot. Here's the other rubber foot. Okay, I'm going to 
say right about right about here looks good. Let's go ahead and twist this into place. Okay, I've twisted the rod tight. That looks good. The curtain can store nicely within that little area. I'll go ahead and remove the camera from the tripod so you can see what I've done. Oh, I didn't catch. Okay, well. So we've got the rubber foot up against the wall, and the rubber foot up against the wall, and we've got enough gap here so that the curtains can slide in there. And these are much heavier than a shower curtain, so if you're trying this technique with a shower curtain, I think uh, you're likely to have excellent success with the shower curtain. Um, so that's it. Go ahead and put this back on the, uh, I apologize for the fact that I did not aim the camera so that you'd be able to see me working on this. But I think, I think you got enough information that you too should be able to successfully put up your shower curtain or curtain hanger rod um, and not have it fall. I really don't feel that this is likely to fall. No, I think, I think this, we've just increased the surface area of the rubber that's pressing against the wall sufficiently enough that I don't think that that is going to fall, even if I bump into that wall hard like I did yesterday. That's it. Have a good, have a good day. Bye.